Welcome to Real Talk. I'm your host, Tori Champa, and today we're going to be reviewing the films Bad Grandpa, starring Johnny Knoxville, and The Counselor, starring Cameron Diaz, Penelope Cruz, Brad Pitt, and Michael Fassbender. For those of you just joining us, just to remind you how our rating system works, we tell you whether or not you should pay and see the film in theaters, whether you should wait and just rent it, or whether you should skip the film altogether. So let's get started. The first film we're going to be reviewing today is Bad Grandpa, which is a Jackass production, but is not related to the other Jackass films. It's about an 86-year-old man that takes his grandson cross-country, and it stars Johnny Knoxville as the grandfather and Jackson Nichol as the grandson. So the three things we're going to be reviewing today for Bad Grandpa are the acting, the script, and the makeup. The acting is a little bit difficult to review because this is a hidden camera film, so the only true actors really were Johnny Knoxville and Jackson Nichol. I do have to applaud Johnny Knoxville, though, because going into this film, I had no idea he was playing the 86-year-old man. He added a few aspects in that definitely really pushed to the audience's age, such as a slight limp when he walked, that really made you forget that he actually was a younger man playing an older man. But definitely the star of this film was Jackson Nichol, and I hope he's in a little bit more serious work later because he's adorable and he's actually very talented. The scenes where it was just him and subjects on the street were probably the funniest and best of the entire film, so I definitely hope to see more from him. The script, again, is a little bit hard to review because it's a hidden camera film, so it's more a review on the planned pranks. They really were poor and really ended up falling flat. One scene to note as being really good was the scene where Johnny Knoxville goes into a bingo hall, and I don't want to ruin it or spoil it for anyone, but it definitely was the funniest of the film. Compared to that, the other pranks were just a little bit too outrageous, and I know that Jackass is known for this kind of humor, and I'm the first to admit that I'm not a fan of Jackass, but with such good reviews, I kind of hope they up the stakes a little bit, but I was a little bit disappointed that the humor was just the same. The final thing that we're going to be reviewing with this is the makeup. It was actually really impressive. Like I said, I had no idea going in that Johnny Knoxville was playing the 86-year-old main character. So when I finally realized it was, they, needless to say, really pulled it off. I probably wouldn't have made him 86. Maybe 70s would have been a little bit more believable. 86 just seemed a little bit of a stretch. But overall, the makeup was still really well done and is one of the highlights of the films, just visually. Final verdict for this one, skip it. The few laughs really aren't worth the price of admission or the price to rent it. So the second film we're going to be reviewing today is The Counselor, starring Brad Pitt, Michael Fassbender, Cameron Diaz, and Penelope Cruz, and it's about a lawyer that gets in over his head when a drug deal goes bad. The three things we're going to be reviewing today for The Counselor are the acting, script, and setting. The acting was definitely a main draw for us to go see the film, as I feel like it is for a lot of other people. When you have A-list celebrities such as Penelope Cruz, Cameron Diaz, Brad Pitt, Michael Fassbender, and even though Penelope Cruz and Brad Pitt weren't in it as much as we expected, the acting overall still lived up to expectations. Yet, it wasn't enough to save the film. The main star, though, is going to be Cameron Diaz, who plays a femme fatale character. When you're used to seeing her in roles such as Shrek, In Her Shoes, Charlie's Angels, There's Something About Mary, it's nice to see her play this sociopath, and it's a really nice change of pace for her. The second thing we're going to be reviewing is the script, which is really bad and really confusing. You have these characters give these philosophical monologues that are all of a sudden followed by key plot points that don't seem related to the monologue that they just said. Another really confusing part about it was the sexual undertone that didn't really seem necessary. The film starts off with an overtly sexual scene between Penelope Cruz and Michael Fassbender that's never mentioned again and really doesn't move the plot forward any. And then later in the film, you have a scene between Cameron Diaz and a car, which will leave up to your imagination, or if you see the film, you'll know what we mean. But it's really supposed to be this serious event, but the audience ends up just laughing, which is definitely something that shows bad writing. The final thing we're going to be reviewing with this film is the setting. While beautiful to look at was still very confusing, you weren't really sure if you were looking at the United States, Mexico, or both. So while cinematography-wise, it was absolutely stunning, you didn't know exactly what you were looking at. So the final verdict, this film is just way too weird to pay the money to see, so you might as well just skip it. So just to go over the final verdicts one more time, Bad Grandpa is a film you definitely can skip, and The Counselor is also a film you can skip. This has been Real Talk, and thanks for watching.